Here we have the 9 inch angle grinder. It's a 15 amp machine, about 2 horsepower. Angle grinders come in different sizes. This is the largest one, 9 inch, 15 amp. There's smaller ones that are 5 amps and use 4 inch blades. The machine is used to cut rough corners, whatever there's sharp, sharp edges after welding uh, to grind down the surface. If you're torching, there's a lot of slag, you want to get rid of it. So primarily for safety. And you can also use it for cutting things. If you want to get, you know, cut through a bolt, this certainly has that power. You can cut through rebar or anything else. So some destructive work, but primarily it's finishing off your work pieces so that they're smooth, they have no rough edges, and that's why you also want to wear gloves um, when handling metal, but especially with the, with the grinder, make sure that the, blade, the, the guard, which can be actually, it can be turned around different ways, make sure it's covering your fingers here, because if you hit yourself in there, that's a bad cut. The danger of this is that you can definitely get cut, this spins at like 5,000, 6,000 RPM or so, um, so you want to be careful. Why is it relevant? It's a very portable tool. You can take it anywhere. You can take it to the machine that you're working on. You don't have to be confined to a workstation as opposed to a stationary grinder. And the grinder wheels, they look like this. You use a tool that looks like this to put it on and off. Um, I like to keep smaller wheels, like actually if you have a cutoff from this that got worn down to so much, I can actually use it in a four inch grinder still, recycle it, um, but that's, that's about it. Uh, safety. Yeah, make sure you got your glasses on. That's the first thing, once again, the sparks that come off this, they're nice and pretty, look great in the videos, but also the very tiny things, they penetrate right through your cornea, so make sure you've got the glasses. Gloves are important, steel-toed boots. Full body clothing, the, the, the sparks are hot and they will get, get in your skin. I like to have the full body clothing, and it's pretty loud actually, so you wanna use your, your earplugs too. One thing I forgot to say, don't hold it like above your head or in an awkward position, because if you catch on something, that's a danger where it can rip and pull with a lot of force. And that happens when, if you're grinding between two metal pieces and you bind the blade so it hits one piece of metal and another, you can pretty much bind it and it throws you with a lot of force. So you wanna make sure you have full control of that machine.